I think that's a very important point that you brought about honesty. Plus, uh, you know, you have to be mature enough to understand that when they're when they're talking about hobbies, mm. they they want you to have that differentiation in mind. Exactly. How are hobbies? You should you know what a hobby is. What a hobby. Is. And I read. I know. I know what a hobby is. I've been interested in movies. It's not just for pastime. I do. I've done research papers on Bollywood. So that is a hobby. Hmm. So I justified it very well, and maybe that is one point which they were impressed. Hmm. Hmm. Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today I have Aditi with me, who has cleared RBI examination in the year 2021, and uh, she's a very young uh, graduate, recently passed out in the year 2019. So all those students who have this doubt on themselves. कि हम इतनी यंग एज में आरबीआई नहीं निकाल सकते आई थिंक शी इज अ रोल मॉडल हु हैज क्लियर द एग्जामिनेशन यू नो एट सच अ यंग एज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंग्रेचुलेशंस अदिति ऑन क्लियरिंग द एग्जाम एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द एक्चुअल इंटरव्यू इफ यू कैन जस्ट गिव अ ब्रीफ आउटलाइन अबाउट योर एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड अबाउट हाउ यू बिकेम इंटरेस्टेड इन आरबीआई इफ यू कैन यू नो टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट दोस थिंग्स सर सो आई हैव परस्यूड इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम लेडी श्रीराम कॉलेज डेली यूनिवर्सिटी I completed my graduation in the year 2019. I was interested in RBI when I in college I was given a research paper to uh, you know to write about the banking crisis that was going on in 2018. That time I was I was very much interested and in how RBI handled the whole banking crisis. So after I completed my graduation RBI was a natural choice uh, but it took me time to prepare for other things to set up my mind about going for rbi as my final choice so that is how i landed up in here at rbi amazing amazing so uh, making such a decision at such a young age you must have had this doubt uh, whether i should go for some work experience before preparing for government examinations or uh, am i mature enough to you know enter the world of uh rbi nawad upsc all these yes, you know competitive so, uh, exams so sir when i was uh, i just passed out of college that thought came to my mind whether i should go for corporate sector and have some work experience after i apply for such prestigious jobs but uh, the very fact i thought the very fact that rbi accepts graduates young graduates so i thought when rbi thinks that uh, at age 21 a candidate is fit enough to work at rbi so i should give it a shot so uh, I think the board thought the same. Hmm, amazing, and in fact, uh, she's got very high marks in her interview, yes. seventy two on seventy five. We will be talking about that as well. Ki bhai, kya kya ino ne sa? What happened in her favor? How things worked out that she got such good scores. So, jin students ka nahi hua, who scored very low marks, I think it'll be a good yes. learning for them as well. Uh, why did things not work in their favor? Right. So, uh, we were talking about. how did you prepare for the examination and one important and interesting aspect that came forward was your past knowledge and yes. your past experiences in life so if you can delve into it a little bit and tell us how did that those things help in the preparation uh so uh, that is what i was saying that uh, it doesn't matter for that for that one month what we have studied before that exam it matters what we've studied throughout so even though when we think we do not know enough because we have not studied enough just right right before the exam we know enough because we've studied in our past life right so uh, that happened with me also like in phase 1 uh, for the phase 1 preparation i had very little time to prepare but uh, because i had prepared all the quant reasoning sections english section for my college entrance examinations so that helped a lot uh in the limited time i had to prepare for rbi all i had to do was brush up those things and uh, take up all those things from a newer perspective mm -hmm. about uh, how rbi asks those questions etc so that past knowledge helped same happened in phase 2 exam as well uh, i was i am an economics graduate i have uh, done commerce as my stream in class 11th and 12th so all the management aspects all the finance aspects i had already studied so all i and also i was very much interested in the management section so all i had to do was brush up those things so my past knowledge helped a lot in this examination hmm. uh i think jitna hum log importance dete hain as you said mm -hmm. one month or two huh. months or, or a year before the exam usse zyada important hota hai ki aap exactly. pure time mm -hmm. kya karte aaye ho so aware students students who have been proactive 
दे फाइंड इट मच इजियर एग्जैक्टली सर तो इतना टेंशन लेने की जरूरत नहीं होती कि एक महीने पहले क्या किया इफ यू स्टार्टिड वेल थ्रू आउट आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट वन मोर थिंग दैट यू पॉइंटेड आउट एंड दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस येट अगेन वॉज यू नो हाउ वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन यू मेड श्योर दैट यू आर अवेयर कि एग्जामिनेशन की डिमांड क्या है yes, और मुझे हाउ डू आई मोल्ड माई सेल्फ so that i fit into that you know something that the exam, examination needs so how did you do it uh, sir generally what aspirants do is uh, they start preparing they look at the syllabus they start preparing and then they uh, take up mock tests or then they uh, look at past year questions uh, i i, I approached the exam in a reverse engineering manner so i picked up the syllabus and then i picked up all the previous year question papers uh, from that i analyzed what questions are being repeated year after year there were some topics which are being repeated every year so the, those became low hanging fruits for me for example in the phase 1 uh, paper in the reasoning part puzzles we know puzzles are being repeated every year and around 10 questions are being uh, are come uh, from those puzzles only and coding decoding questions like sequences and series in the quant section those become low hanging fruits since i had very little time to prepare all i did was focus on those sections first i uh, those because those became my strengths then i focused on those sections i appeared for mock tests in those sections when those sections became very good i then i shifted my focus to other sections that is how i prepared in phase 1 in phase 2 as well from past year questions so i reverse engineered the whole paper that way hmm. so you were telling me about management how did you reverse engineer and what did you find yes sir to- so uh, sir in management there are a lot of topics we see or uh, we see so, but uh, topics like leadership they are being asked every year and around 4 to 5 questions are just from the leadership topics and even uh, some theories are being repeated so and those theories are not there in basic material what we have to do then is to uh, take up those past year questions and those theories which are being repeated and google those theories that becomes a very helpful uh, for example topics like corporate governance we know that topic is important but we do not know have to focus a lot on that topic we just have to give a reading or two to that topic so reading in that way saves time and is more productive hmm i think that's very important bahut sare students past year papers either they don't see it hmm. or they just look at it once and then they leave it yes sir but past year questions i think is very important very, very for important. every exam hmm i think that's that's an important point that you brought about the next point is credibility or validation that you were talking about yes, so uh, aditi here has scored 72 in her interview and in her mains also she scored very well uh, and one thing that in descriptive writing she did and she did the same thing in the interview also was to focus a lot on how to make her answers her points credible yes, enough sir. so if you can talk about that a little bit uh, sir i want to talk about two points here uh, firstly in mains answer writing uh, what i f- f- face there we do not have to change the time limit there uh, the time limit and the word limit also so for example word limit for some question is 900 words but we do not have to write 800 or 900 words for that question that was a mistake that many people committed in that uh, in the exam in the first half of the day so that may be the reason why many people lost a lot of marks because of that so firstly do not chase the word limit second write in points writing in points give a lot of gives a lot of clarity to the answer so the examiner thinks that the person knows and it's easier to check for the examiner also third thing which you talked about was credibility of the answers for example in the management part uh, everybody knows the basics about management but what differs a serious aspirant which they want to select and a person who is layman in management is that they do not write the theories names and the people who propose them for example when we write about reinforcement theory that was a question in our paper also so we have to mention b f skinner there if we do not mention him it is just a reinforcement theory is just what our mothers did with us that is the, there's no difference then so giving credibility to that answer is important same thing worked in my interview as well in the interview phase when they are asking me questions if i had given questions without uh, quoting the sources from which i had read those answers they wouldn't be have been more interested i think Hmm. so quoting economic survey that economic survey cited this and this and there was a research paper from rbi by dr subarao which said this and this that worked in my favor so credibility to answers becomes important hmm. 
So if you can take us through the interview a little bit and how did it start? What kind of questions were asked? How did they try to put you in the corner and see how you react? If you can take us a little bit, a little bit through that experience. Uh, sir, firstly, I have, I'll talk about my preparation for the interview. So I went through a lot of transcripts and I wrote down hundreds of questions. I wrote down hundreds of questions about how what RBI was asking and what RBI could ask in the future test in the future interviews. So I had I think around 900 to 1000 questions which I had to prepare and then I had uh, those documents, six documents uh, for, for those questions. For example, I had HR, I had speech, if they asked me to give a speech on some topic and I had uh, my background, basics, background, uh, current affairs and banking basics. So uh, big, that helped me to uh, keep a sight on what all topics were important and if I'm not, if I'm missing out, out on something. So, because of that, everything that was asked in the interview was very predict predictable. I had around 1000 questions. They asked me around 15 questions. So, that with the prob probability of 15 questions coming from those 1000 that I had prepared becomes easy, yes. becomes more. So, uh, I prepared that way. In the interview, uh, that, way, that is why my interview became very easy. Uh, when the interview started, I'll talk about my interview now. When the interview started, I was nervous like everybody else. But they try to calm you down uh, that way. So, hello, how are you, etc. So, uh, after that, the chairman asked me why did I uh, why did I have to work now because I was so young. And why did, not, why did I not pursue education further? So, that was a tough question for me. I had not thought, even though I had written down 1000 questions, that one question was not in my uh, profile. So, they asked me that. I tried justifying why I am here. I tried justifying by saying that I learn here, I will take up courses here. But they were not satisfied with that question. But maybe they were not looking for answers there. They were just checking if how I reacted to that question. And uh, my reaction to that question, I was scared, but that did not show on my face. Mm -hmm. And that uh, was prepared through mock interviews. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of mock interviews. They told me how to not show what you're feeling there in the uh, interview. That worked. And then they asked me about economics, uh, about RBI. And uh, one interesting thing that happened in my interview was they focused a lot on my hobbies. So there was, there was written nothing in my bio data about hobbies, but they focused a lot on it. And they when they asked me about it, I said movies. So the chairman asked me what type of movies. Or uh, I said I can watch anything. She, he said then how are your hobbies? Hobbies? You just watch movies, right? So I justified it very well how it was a hobby, and no, I just do not watch it for pastime. He was very satisfied. He was very pleased with that answer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what worked in my interview regarding my hobbies was that he they saw commitment towards my hobby. They asked me who is your favorite director in the in Bollywood, and I justified it very well, giving examples, giving names of whole background. Uh, cinematographer, choreographer, everything about those, uh, about those movies, about those directors. So that way they were happy and the, uh, the whole environment was lighter. So that worked. And after that, uh, they asked me questions about my achievements. So I had written that I was a good public speaker. So they asked me uh, what is a good quality about a good public speaker. I said like how my mentor told me. So I said it in Hindi and it was honest and that worked. I told him that my mentor told me that ya to audience ko hasa do ya rula do and that worked. Hmm. So, you know, being myself worked in the interview. Hmm. I think that's a very important point that you brought about honesty. Plus, uh, you know, you have to be mature enough to understand that when they're, when they're talking about hobbies, hmm. they, they want you to have that differentiation in mind. Exactly. How are hobbies you should know about. what a hobby is. What a hobby. And I had read, I had know, I know what a hobby is. I've been interested in movies. It's not just for pastime I do. I've done research papers on Bollywood. So that is a hobby. Hmm. So I justified it very well. And maybe that is one point which they were impressed. Hmm. Hmm. So never lie in the interview. Exactly. About anything. Never lie about it. They catch it very quickly. Yeah, they can, of course. Yeah. And if you, if you feel that your hobby is, uh, you know, watching movies, but it is actually a pastime, then you are the best person to understand that. Exactly. A lot of students make that mistake also. Unko lagta hai, hobby hai. 
but it is actually a past time because they are not sir i saw your it. video about that you hmm. had explained what is a past time and what is a hobby and i understood that if i do not show commitment to my hobby it will become a past time even though it is a hobby for me hmm. so uh, because i saw uh, i watched that video i had prepared why is it a hobby for me hmm. so that worked wonderful wonderful so uh, i think these are some important points from aditi's uh, you know experience her preparation timeline whatever she went through uh, how is it that she is so successful at such a young age unhone kya aisa kiya and what are the mistakes she did not make that uh, you know make sure that she cleared the examination before ending with the interview any anything that you want to share with the aspirants or any learning that you've had in the past 2 years that you want to you know, yes share. sir there's one thing uh, what worked in my favor preparing for rbi was that even though i had limited time i did not compromise on what i like to so not compromising on that just because there is some exam coming up uh, keeps up the motivation factor in you it makes you more productive and even if even if you fail that exam you do not regret it so much mm-hmm. so just keep doing whatever you want to do or your past times your hobbies just keep up with that mm-hmm. just because there is some exam going ahead you do not have to uh, you know bring a pause to your life yes. you have to keep living it and then keep studying also right i think that's a very important point Uh, this is just one part of your entire life. You don't have to stop your life. Exactly. You don't have to bring to an end everything huh. else, whether it is your relationship with your parents mm-hmm. or your friends or anything at all. Yes. Sir. I think that's very important. So uh, this was all for this interview. Thanks a lot again, uh, Aditi. And uh, I have a small gift for you. And uh, this has always been very personal to me. So this is for you. Thank you so <laughs> much, sir. Now uh, there is a book here, uh, Ikki Gai, uh, which is again on mental health, and I'm sure. I was sure thinking of buying that book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're going to love it. Uh, to all the aspirants, also, I think if you find time and if you're interested in reading, along with your prep, you should pick up this book. It is going to help you, uh, you know, maintain that good sense of mind while you're preparing for the examination. Thanks a lot. Congrats again Thank for you, uh, getting selected. Uh, I'm sure you are going to have a lovely time working in that. Thank you.